Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. In today's construction industry, environmental sustainability is increasingly recognized as a critical consideration for project planning and execution. As the world faces pressing environmental challenges, construction practices must evolve to minimize their ecological footprint and promote responsible stewardship of natural resources. From minimizing pollution to preserving biodiversity and reducing carbon emissions, Incorporating environmentally friendly practices into construction projects is essential for safeguarding our planet's health and well-being. In this video, we delve into the best practices for environmental sustainability in construction, exploring strategies to mitigate environmental impact, promote resource efficiency, and foster a greener approach to building and infrastructure development. Question number one. What are some best practices for minimizing construction-related pollution? Minimizing construction-related pollution involves implementing various strategies, such as sediment and erosion control measures, proper waste management practices, and the use of environmentally friendly construction materials. These practices help prevent soil erosion, reduce air and water pollution, and mitigate the environmental impact of construction activities. Question number two. How can construction sites optimize energy efficiency? Construction sites can optimize energy efficiency by incorporating energy efficient building designs, utilizing renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power, and adopting energy saving technologies and equipment. Additionally, implementing measures to reduce energy consumption during construction operations, such as optimizing equipment usage and scheduling, can further contribute to energy efficiency. Question number three, what measures can be taken to minimize water usage on construction sites? Minimizing water usage on construction sites involves implementing water conservation measures such as using recycled or reclaimed water for non-potable purposes, installing water-efficient fixtures and equipment, and implementing water management practices such as rainwater harvesting and on-site water treatment systems. These measures help reduce water consumption, alleviate strain on local water resources, and promote sustainable water management practices. Question number four, how can construction projects minimize waste generation? Construction projects can minimize waste generation by adopting practices such as waste reduction, reuse, and recycling. This includes optimizing material usage, segregating waste streams, and implementing waste management plans to divert construction waste from landfills. By prioritizing waste minimization and resource efficiency, Construction projects can reduce environmental impact and promote circular economy principles. Question number five, what are some strategies for preserving biodiversity on construction sites? Preserving biodiversity on construction sites involves conducting thorough environmental assessments to identify sensitive habitats and species, implementing habitat conservation measures such as buffer zones and wildlife corridors, and incorporating green infrastructure elements into construction designs. Additionally, Implementing measures to minimize habitat disturbance, such as controlled site access and vegetation preservation, can help protect biodiversity during construction activities. Question number six, how can construction sites reduce their carbon footprint? Construction sites can reduce their carbon footprint by adopting sustainable construction practices such as using low carbon building materials, optimizing transportation and logistics, and implementing energy efficient construction methods. Additionally, Offsetting carbon emissions through reforestation projects or purchasing carbon credits can help mitigate the environmental impact of construction activities. Question number seven, what role does sustainable sourcing play in construction projects? Sustainable sourcing in construction projects involves prioritizing the use of responsibly sourced materials, such as certified wood, recycled aggregates, and low-impact building materials. By sourcing materials from environmentally responsible suppliers and ensuring compliance with sustainability standards and certifications, construction projects can minimize environmental impact and promote sustainable resource management. Question number eight, how can construction projects mitigate the impact of noise pollution? Mitigating the impact of noise pollution on construction sites involves implementing noise control measures such as using quieter equipment and machinery erecting noise barriers or sound walls, and implementing noise management plans to minimize noise disturbances to surrounding communities. Additionally, 
scheduling noisy construction activities during off-peak hours and providing advance notice to nearby residents can help mitigate the impact of noise pollution. Question number 9. What are some strategies for reducing air pollution on construction sites? Strategies for reducing air pollution on construction sites include using low-emission equipment and vehicles, implementing dust control measures such as watering down unpaved roads and stockpiles, and minimizing the use of fossil fuels through the use of alternative fuels or electric-powered machinery. Additionally, implementing emission reduction technologies and practices, such as exhaust emission controls and idle reduction measures, can further reduce air pollution emissions from construction activities. Question number 10. How can construction projects promote sustainable transportation practices? Construction projects can promote sustainable transportation practices by encouraging the use of alternative modes of transportation such as public transit, cycling, or carpooling among workers and subcontractors. Additionally, providing designated parking areas for low-emission vehicles, implementing on-site charging stations for electric vehicles, and incentivizing sustainable commuting options can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions associated with transportation to and from construction sites. As the construction industry continues to evolve, it is imperative that environmental sustainability remains a top priority. By implementing best practices such as minimizing pollution, optimizing resource usage, and preserving biodiversity, construction projects can minimize their environmental footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. Through collaboration, innovation, and a commitment to responsible environmental stewardship, construction professionals can pave the way for greener, more resilient communities while ensuring the long-term health and vitality of our planet. We hope that this video gives you a better understanding of health, safety, and the environment. If you have any queries, please leave a comment, and we would be glad to assist you. Check our website and our channel for more health, safety, and environmental topics. The link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment are everyone's responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.